Okay guys, today we are talking about the machete. It ultimately is the machete an underrated tool for bushcrafting. Now, I'm going to say on this video ultimately a yes and no. Uh, for there, there are a lot of different people in different places of the world, especially in southern parts of the hemisphere, you know, places such as South America, Australia, where the machete is definitely very well loved, very well appreciated, and very well used. But I think in the northern hemisphere, especially places like Alaska, I do think that the machete is underrated, and ultimately that people... Um, just look at the climate that they're in and they say absolutely not you know all there is is big coniferous trees or deciduous trees around me and you know a machete would never be able to fell those trees and they're not incorrect in that statement obviously this this machete is not going to fell some of these trees that I'm surrounded by however realistically when you go out and practice bushcrafting are you really felling those trees with your axe anyways and the answer oftentimes is no, especially for me. You know, I'm not going out with the intent of felling any of these big trees around me. I don't really need to and I don't really want to. Uh, so the reality is if I'm not going to do it anyways, why carry tools that are capable of it just to say I do, you know? Um, it's not necessarily the most practical. So you want, to you want to carry tools in your toolkit that you're going to realistically use every time. And most importantly, you want to carry or have tools in your toolkit that you are willing to carry. Uh, and so that means, you know, having uh, things like machetes or having things such as, um, you know, uh, hatchets and knives, things that you're realistically going to put in a pocket, put on your back, put in a backpack, you know, do those types of things. So um, the machete makes a lot more sense in those regards. So uh, do I think that the machete is a practical tool and it is? I think it definitely is and it can be. Um, in another video I mentioned seven practical uses for the machete, even in places like Alaska. Uh, things like shelter craft, you might not initially think the machete being that good or that capable of shelter craft, but when you think about it, this is a very good tool to go out and collect uh, pounds and you know, feet of uh, good spruce boughs or pine boughs for bedding, for insulation, for shelter craft, you know, this is actually a very venerable tool to do that type of task. Um, you know, when it comes down to crafting, this makes one heck of a good draw knife. And so whether you're working on large, you know, projects, things like a elevated fire or elevated kitchen, uh, like uh, what is what the elevated kitchen, like Morris Kohansky has talked about, you know, planing down or making workbenches, this can do a very good job at planing those pieces of wood down to make a good workbench uh, or a good flat surface. And even on smaller objects, if you're trying to say make a self bow, you know, you want to plane the limbs down of that tree, this can make a really good, really righteous tool to do that. Um, so there are definite reasons of why you would want to carry a uh, machete and of course you know another good reason would be blazing a trail to get to a point say you want to bushcraft in a certain location and that location's overgrown you know getting to that location you can blaze the trail with a machete and once you are there at that location if say you need to clear out you know devil's club or there's some saplings that need to be cleared a machete can make quick work of those things and help you make a nice place to bed down and build a shelter ultimately or even set up a tent if that's you know what your end goal is so the machete is definitely very capable very competent and very useful very resourceful uh, for that regard so yeah the uh, the machete is definitely something that I think is largely overlooked or underrated in bushcrafting as a whole it's not talked about a lot and I think in a lot of earlier books published by Kephart by um, by people like Kephart, you know, the machete wasn't really talked about or maybe talked about unfavorably because simply the access or access to quality machetes at that time in America was not there. I mean, uh, machetes are reasonably new to America because, you know, natives did not use machetes here much at all. And, you know, um, Obviously, the woodsmen coming from Europe did not use machetes much at all either over there. So really, South American people, um, African people, and Asian, you know, Nepalese, 
uh, those kinds of people were the ones that pioneered the use of machetes originally. And so none of those places are particularly close to North America or really in line with us. So, you know, machetes are a reasonably new addition to see in our woods, but I think that they are overall globally a very useful tool. And in fact, if you had to choose one tool to go anywhere in the world and survive, you'd probably be best off choosing a really sturdy, really high quality machete because it's gonna be able to handle just about anything that comes your way. Uh, it won't be the best at it, won't be the greatest, but it will be able to handle it. So anyways, guys, hopefully this has inspired you guys to at least give a shot or check out a machete. You know, they are a ton of fun to use. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless. And I'm out.